Namaste Angels. This is going to be a client reading um, for a young lady for whom I intended to read last week. It's so weird because when she placed the order, um, you know, we spoke very briefly, maybe one or two lines via um, Gmail. And I said, I'll, you know, do your reading by Saturday because that's what, again, what I do. Whatever I receive during the week, um, I, I perform those readings by the Saturday, even the video ones. I make sure they're posted before the collective readings. Every time I looked at that list, somehow thereafter, somehow I missed her. And even went so far as to say, you know, during the one of the readings that one of the collective readings I did this week that I was like practically, I guess, like waiting. OK, I don't have any you know, more readings to do. I'm going to move on to the collective readings. And then I ended up with with what I thought were the only two readings that I needed to do for the weekend and forgot hers again or missed hers again on the list. So uh, we agree that it was not intended less for last week. Um, however. This week, it definitely is, and I chose today to do it, um, which I think is going to be a really good day. It's, it's, it's dependent on karma, but I guess I, I would at least like to believe that um, that of my clients is more good than, you know, than not. Um, so that would make it a good day. It also depends on in what house um, of your chart these energies fall. So that would be the Jupiter conjunct the sun. Um, but today is also a Capricorn moon. So it could be about practical matters, your home um, in a general sense. And then again, wherever the Capricorn moon falls in, in one's chart um, would be affected, you know, varying based on that. Overall Capricorn moon is going to move us toward like foundations and our and practical matters. In any case, um, I'm happy to do it in general and specifically today. So I'm going to begin with the Tony Carmine Salerno Universal Love Oracle. Like I said, we spoke very briefly. I don't know anything about her. Um, we didn't even talk Zodiac or anything, which is typical, you know, so I'm not isolating her. I, I tend not to talk about anything with anybody that they ask, what do I need? And I say, I don't, you know, quote unquote, need anything. I welcome whatever you want to share. And it's fine if you don't want to share anything like, you know, it's all good no matter what. Um, but I think that there is an earth sign um, involved here. Unless that is that Capricorn moon coming through very heavily. I, I think it's more than that. Though. I think there's an earth sign involved. I saw a lot of earth. And then I saw very specifically Gemini of the air. Because um, I saw the page of air, the magician, and the lovers. Both of those cards, the major arcana cards in the tower, represent the sign of Gemini. Um, as does the page for me. Because pages are younger and or the more youthful. And Gemini is the more youthful sign of the air element. Um, I also saw fire and then just as I was about to stop, um, the moon popped up, which would be water, um, possibly only that's the only water card I saw. So I, was, I did see court cards, um, in the suit of fire after having seen, um, all those of the earth and then, uh, the Gemini. So in any case, I'm beginning with miracles, <laughs> which, you know, it can happen to anyone of any sign if we believe. And one way to put our intentions out um, is through prayer and or meditation. Miracles and opening to transmutation. So this is when we take any of that possible negativity and bad karma and, and things like that, um, darkness that we feel within and or around us and transmute that to love. That raises our vibration. Transmutation and opening to dreams. So this can bring us to, um, yeah, the you know the miracles or goals, whatever our our dreams involve, by raising our vibration and setting an intention toward it again through 
um, meditation, which can be done in our dreams too. Uh, there's a lot of binaural tones that are meant to be listened to while you're sleeping. I would emphasize they must be like binaural tones or something and not anything where anybody's speaking because that's the last thing you would want is for somebody to be speaking something over your life and you're asleep and you have no idea what it is. Um, dreams back. I'll go one more. And it's healing sounds. So I'm talking about binaural tones. Here's the healing sounds. You're meant to do this. Um, so again, if you, if you do something or if you think you may fall asleep, then make sure you're listening to um, something that's not going to be guided in any way, have any voice to come on and, and start speaking anything over you. Just music. Um, healing sounds can be whatever genre of music you're into, too. And you may be meant to do some with specific to regard to like lucid dreaming. They have tones for that too. Physical body just fell away. They also have tones for pain, physical pain, for weight. Weight is actually the first one that came through. Um, again, I don't know this couple. I don't know what this woman looks like. I don't know what the man looks like. But weight um, was the first to come through. There are binaural tones um, to help you to work on that too. And again, lucid dreaming. What's that other card? I see. I saw similar co colors um, trying to peek out from behind this card. So I wanted to see what it was. And we were meant to see that too, I guess. This is Moon Tree, which is a card of sacred marriage. I like when, you know, right in the beginning of the reading, we have some indication of for what kind of couple it is I'm reading. So Moon Tree is about not only the sacred marriage between like heaven and earth and that unity and, and oneness, but it's also the sacred marriage between two, um, you know, divine or sacred beings, two souls. On that note, I'll cut. Reflection. Um, this card guides you to take a look at your life, like life in review from your own perspective. You gotta look back, you gotta look around at your present. You gotta look toward the future, again, the dreams, goals, make some intentions, plans. And the overall energy here is enchantment. So this is completely about healing for me. Um, not just the physical, which again, you may have some physical aspects of your being um, that you wish to heal. This is spiritual, emotional, physical, mental, complete healing. Um, at the hands of the divine. And here we see like this blue ray going through this woman. As a matter of fact, this card was, uh, came up in one of the collective readings. And I talked about the scars that appear to be on her face and how she's not letting anything stop her um, from her faith in that all of this can be corrected. Right? Nothing's going to block her, block that from her. So she has full trust in the universe. She is completely vulnerable and allowing it to do its thing in her behalf. So we have this blue ray here. This could be um, blue is associated with Archangel Michael, for example. Uh, that could be him. <laughs> blue is also our, associated with Archangel Jophiel, and she is of physical beauty, the um, Archangel of, of beauty. Um, even as far as like how we look, our physical outlook, um, an outward look. And this red one, this could be Chamuel. This could even be um, Raphael, actually. They both sort of like red and green and pink and green, both colors of healing and abundance as well.
Okay, so here I have a card that will represent the, the feminine um, sort of sentiments on herself, and this can be that of her higher self with regard to her 3D self. Um, the masculine with regard to the feminine, the masculine on himself with regard to the union as a whole from the masculine perspective, the overall, um, the outcome. This is what the masculine would have the feminine to do toward you know, the union. And this is what he himself is willing to. And this is like what the universe would have the two of them to do, come together to do, to make things better. Okay, so the feminine, golden memories. The feminine has baggage of which she needs to let go. Um, and that's probably why reflection came up. You're going to have to take a look at your life and decide what it is you don't need, what is cluttering it up. And that can be um, physical things, stuff that you need to get rid of. Um, it can also be emotional things, right? It could be negative cords of attachment and negative emotions, regret, resentment, pain, fear, all of that kind of stuff that you need to, of what you need to let go. As a matter of fact, as I was shuffling the cards, I saw fear and I haven't really seen, we've seen as, you know, evidence of fear, but I haven't seen much of the card, um, over the past couple months, but I, I did see it while I was shuffling for you. So you've got some stuff which to let go. And you need to in order to be able to move forward. This can also be evidence, again, of the fire sign. Somebody may be a fire sign, sun, moon, and rising. Um, yeah. The masculine with regard to the feminine. He's got the same thing to do. These cards are very similar. They don't look at all alike. Um, and this one doesn't really much look like what it's about, but they're very similar. It's about the need to vacate um, a space from something old for something new, like letting go of something old or someone old <laughs> in your life that's been taking up space and cluttering it up to make way for something new so that you can have that feeling of joy and heaven on earth um, in your present. In order to do that, you got to let go of the past. The masculine with regard to himself. Oh, this is the masculine on the feminine. So he agrees with you, basically. Um, he sees what you, what you do, that you need to let go of something in order to be able to move forward. Him about himself, golden path. So he is like consciously on the path toward healing. He may not even know what that means in totality, um, but he knows like he's headed towards something. He's striving towards something, um, if nothing else. He wants to be you know, healed. Um, you know, so this is, this overall energy is like clearly, very clearly for both of you, this need for healing. At the end, I spoke of Archangel Raphael. He's at the end of the path, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the, in this card, looking at it every time, um, it's the golden path. It reminds me of the, you know, yellow brick road at the end of the yellow brick road is the Emerald city at the end of the, you know, yellow brick, um, <laughs> path, spiritual path is the Emerald Ray, um, and Archangel Raphael, as far as I'm concerned. Ah, speak of the quote unquote devil, as they say. Here's the fear. This is this card represents your union as a whole. Um, so this may be something else that not only the masculine sees in himself, but he sees in you to have chosen this to represent the union as a whole, because I picked up on the fear holding up this card that represents you, you about you. He agrees, but, I, but it seems to agree for himself as well. And that may be why um, he made a conscious move, decision, to get on this path toward healing. Like he knows there's some stuff he has to fix. He may even realize that in order to like meet you halfway and also encourage you to fix some stuff, he has to fix some stuff. So you're working on that together. Overall, the gateway. Working on that together so you can go through this together. 
uh, you know, and into, into that like portal, um, so to speak, toward spirituality. Spiritual growth, salvation. What would the masculine have you uh, to do to like at least relax with this knowledge? So now you've already had the moon tree and you have the soulmate to indicate what kind of union it is and sort of relax in that. And that should strengthen you to do what not only you want to do, but he wants you to do as well. And that's let go of past pain and hurt and stuff and fear. What is he willing to do? He's coming up with creative ways to pursue his passions. And this card is, tends to be evidence of the air. And it says Aquarius to me. And it could, it could be one of the other signs. Um, it could be Gemini. I mean, I definitely, I definitely felt air, but I specifically felt Gemini. Uh, and thought that I was being shown Gemini too. Again, when I have, I pulled three cards or shuffled to three cards that all mean Gemini to me. Um, the angel, the angels know that God knows that. So, um, but this card does too. It, mean, it means air to me um, and specifically Aquarius. And it means water to me and specifically Pisces. And as I said, the moon popped up at the end and the moon also represents the sign of Pisces in the tarot. Aside from that, the masculine is coming up with creative ways to pursue his passions, including the union. So again, that's why he's on this path. And that's why these two cards are crossing here too. What would the universe have the two of you to do? Aw, eternal flame. And it mirrors your soulmate card and they share the same colors. So this is like the connection, the oneness that's being brought together here with this um, selection by the masculine and the universe sort of working in tandem and the outcome spiritual growth just as i said i said this is leading you this is the portal to your spiritual growth and it's sort of crowning while this is sort of here at the root um reflecting the same and it's sitting under this heaven on earth which is the same colors too so letting go of this old stuff is really going to propel you forward in terms of your individual healing. And which of course um, would in turn heal the union since you are a half of it, a co-creator. Um, so talk about that creativity card that popped up for the masculine. What's he willing to do? He, you know, that that's, he's also saying there at the same time by saying that he's willing to come up with creative ways um, to ab approach things. He's also saying he's willfully a co-creator with you on it. So that was from the perspective, that cross spread was from the perspective of the masculine. Now we'll do one from the perspective of the feminine, beginning with the ice queen, which is not another um, potential indicator that there is a Gemini involved here with Venus. Uh, this card representing, tending, tending to represent Venus for me quite often, and Venus being a ruler of the sign of Gemini. But also, it could be, again, another indication of air sign in general, because Venus is also a, an, a, uh, <laughs> also a ruler of Libra and opening to freedom. So this would be coming through as like freedom, freedom to love and freedom to like reap blessings and abundance because Venus is the goddess of love and money. So basically she's the goddess of abundance. And if you're attached to something old you're, and you're blocking your flow, and you're blocking your blessings, you're being guided to seek your freedom so that those things can come to you. The, the love can flow to you. The abundance can flow to you in all forms. Money can flow to you. 
and opening to gifts, that your gifts can flow to you too, um, spiritual gifts. Because I saw gifts as I was shuffling as well, um, and I saw it opposite obstacles. And it came to me right away that it was talking about obstacles to your like spiritual gifts and your creative gifts, your passions. Like that's what's being blocked. And I want to be clear about this because when I say spiritual gifts, like not, I don't know who started this false rumor that everybody who is on a spiritual journey is to be a card reader, for example, or a mind reader or <laughs> whatever, an astrologer. That's not, that's, that's not true. It's not the case. We're not all meant to be, you know, uh, candlestick makers and, and any of this stuff that is like typical gifts. Like, for example, I'm a quote, I would be considered if there were such a thing, um, like a tarot prodigy. I picked up the cards and knew the tarot because that's my thing. The same way a child prodigy sits down at a piano and can pay, play Beethoven. They've never even heard it before. Or, you know, examples like that, a, a Doogie, Doogie Hauser type. You know, we got these kids graduating from college at like 12, 13 years old. Those are prodigies. Those people are meant to do. And that's their healing gift. Right. Everybody doesn't have to be a tarot reader. Everybody doesn't have to be an astrologer in this. There's all kinds of healing. Music heals. Um, medicine heals. Art heals. Everything that we can do. So by spiritual gifts, I just I mean just that, like whatever is yours in whatever you are going to be exceptionally good because that's what you're meant to be. That's what I feel is being um, blocked. And here's evidence of a potential karmic situation, energy, relationship. Um, thankfully, she's upside down. I like when she's upside down. My view is like when she's upside down. <laughs> I have one um, client that says, that bitch better stay like that. You know, she really hates her gifts. And wallflower, which tends to represent for me possibly that um, earth sign I saw. Maybe it's a Capricorn, um, Gemini, and Scorpio also um, tend to be wallflowers. Like people that have no trouble getting attention when they walk in the room, but they don't necessarily want it. Gifts. Young female is also upside down. There are no reversals in this deck, um, so it doesn't necessarily mean anything. I just like seeing the karmic girl upside down. <laughs> And opening to communication. Opposite gifts. Interesting. Somebody could have the gift of gab. That just came to me. That would be a very Gemini trait too. But maybe, maybe it's been blocked lately and they haven't been able to get the words out or, you know, they haven't been as, as good at, as good at communication as they could be or should be. And, uh, coming to travel, which can be about little travel. It's about movement. Um, you know, like overall, so it could be metaphorical movement. It can be literal movement, um, and literal travel too. And the overall energy is fair male which can tend to come to me as also a karmic energy, um, similar to the brunette female, but also sort of represents the devil card um, in the tarot for me. It's like an, it, the equivalent of that. And the devil card in the tarot represents the sign of Capricorn. So that could be another reason too. In any case, this is the overall energy and hopefully we'll find out more about it. This represents the divine couple, the recent past, the near future, the masculine's higher self, blocks to the union, what the feminine can do, what the masculine can do, further advice from the universe, and the outcome. Divine couple, friendship, 
maybe it's starting out like this, or maybe it started out like this, and it be, it's becoming something, or it has become something much greater. Um, a marriage, or we, we saw already from the other cards that that's where it's on its way to. So that's a healthy relationship, um, beginning as friends, or finding a way to be friends also. The recent past, mature woman. So now the second, I just saw youth, young female, and I saw the page before of air, which could be somebody younger, youthful. Some, you know, maybe there's a, an age difference here or a maturity level difference here in this relationship. That's the recent past, the near future. Ooh, gossip. People talking about it, maybe because there's an age difference or something. The masculine's higher self, soulmate. So again, consciously deciding, recognizing what's going on. Blocks to the union, other than this gossiping, work. The people who are talking could be at the job, at the workplace too. Maybe that's where the friendship develop. What can the feminine do here? Gifts. So draw on what you can feel. Um, like what, in, what intuition with what you are able to connect and gut feelings, butterflies, all those sort of things. Pay attention to that. Ear, what is it? Um, ear itching or burning us when somebody's talking about you. Um, pay attention to those things. What the, can the masculine do? Communicate. So like I was saying, maybe somebody hasn't been very good at communicating um, as of late, and that is something that they need to, to work at. Further advice from the universe, dating queen. So you, I think you both, I think this applies to both. You both have like a lot of options and potential suitors and can take this in a literal sense and date and, and see what you feel if you like, you know, go through some, and, you, and some of it may be karmic. You like, you may need to um, test some of these things. If the universe allows you to, uh, then do that. You, like you're narrowing down the playing field, cutting away at some of these things, people. And the outcome, passion. So the outcome is finding, you know, with whom you belong on both sides. Very nice. It's starting as friends and ending here like this. And that dating queen can be why fair male is here too. This may be, again, somebody else that is trying to get the attention of, you know, one or both it can be what that was representing. And I'm beginning with another card of passion, right? We just ended on passion. I'm starting with passion with the Doreen Virtue Romance Angels. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and opening to getting to know each other. So this goes, speaks to, you know, starting out as friends and developing something stronger. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Passion. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So I think this may have more than one meaning. Um, it could be physical exes from what we've seen, but also like express yourself coming through. Um, because you are calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Passion. And very soon, if you clearly decide what you want, it will come to you now. So like if you narrow down the choices. Passion. I'm going to cut.
chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. This could be a very strong physical um, attraction too. Even if one or both of you are feeling something about yourself physically, like you're not quite happy, this can still be, the other person doesn't see you like that and there's strong physical attraction. Overall energy is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Um, this couple is choosing to do that together. If you have that opportunity, something presents itself where you can quote unquote, quote unquote travel like that car we saw or something, go away for a weekend, whatever, a night, or even just, you know, grab some time, a couple of hours to like run off together and spend some time getting to know each other. Um, you should, if that's not the case and you have the time or opportunity to retreat in some way on your own, you should do that as well. The masculine is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, but it's not just your parents. It's any and everybody who impacts your life so much that they, you know, what's going on with them um, and, and you and your relationship with them sort of dictates whether or not you're able to move forward or, or whether or not you feel you're able to move forward with your, with your life, you know, and or love or your love life specifically. You got to heal that. You got to walk away from those people or repair the relationship, but it can't go on like that. The masculine is surrounded by uh, let go of control issues and allow this situation to unfold naturally. So if he's trying to hold relationships together, prevent them from falling apart, you know, um, or trying to force anything together, he's it, that's why he's he's like blocking his own abundance again and blessings by doing that. He needs to just go into that full surrender and full allowance of healing that we saw um, in the enchantment card. But the woman with the two rays coming through a ground chakra, he needs to do that. In his subconscious, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And for you, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So things may not be going or ever go <laughs> um, the way you would have otherwise thought or planned or whatever. And the romance angels are saying that's okay. Um, and that's kind of typical for this sort of relationship. Feminine surrounded by work worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life and flirt in her subconscious. So she may be the more mature of the two and there's a need to be more youthful or act more youthful and extend her lighthearted energy to others. Crowning, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy and it sits here next to this healing family issue. So this could very well be like the masculine's ex woman or current karmic relationship that he's trying to get out of or something like that. Um, that's not to say the feminine doesn't have one on her own, but yeah, the masculine may have something that he needs to cut. And that's why, you know, he's tried to again may remain in control of the situation. But that's one of the things he's going to have to cut is his need to, to do that. At the root, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So whereas you may have been wondering, like, this was just my friend and this doesn't make sense. This person is older. This person is younger. This person, you know, isn't as serious as me, as reserved as me, isn't, isn't as mature as me. You know, they're more silly. They're more, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, you can, you know, do that until you're like blue in the face. <laughs> and like I said, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so that these feelings are real. Um, and meant to be explored is what the romance angels are saying to you. And at the heart of the matter, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So this is another indication of movement, um, toward the ascension of your relationship, like the relationship continuing to, um, grow stronger and possibly spending some time, like as they say, stealing away some time together. Like the retreat card, the overall energy suggests you should do if you get the chance.
your further advice from the Tony Carmine Salerno Universal Love Oracle, Earth Connection to the Masculine. So this is again connected with Mother Nature. He's got to unblock his blessings. He has been blocking them up. So he needs to connect with Mother Nature, connect, um, maybe do some meditation outside if he can. Um, it's also an indication again of somebody possibly being an earth sign, quite possibly. Uh, and, and that could be why Venus showed up too. She's also the ruler of Taurus. Um, that's, yeah, he's blocking his blessings. For you, love. So like, similar to what the masculine, when he's selected that soulmate card, and like, like use this to um, help you to like relax and, f and focus. Same thing here. Like just remember love and be love and expect love and everything will work out. From my hashtag creepy deck to the masculine, he's got a past life issue um, through which he has to work. And that could be another reason why we've seen a lot of karmic sort of stuff come up. Um, and potentially two karmic, you know, partners or experiences. He's got to like work on some of that stuff. For you, fun times. This is another indication that you need to like loosen up be more lighthearted, more youthful, more fun, um, less serious and, and heavy, you know, because that like brings people down when you're trying to approach um, conversation. Like we need levity when we're trying to approach, certain, you know, certain circumstances and, and subjects. And lastly, to the masculine, express your love. Like I said, this is about, um, I felt that this card was showing up not only because there could be a physical ex that they need to be let go of, um, but there's a need to express feelings and sentiments. And that, and in the other spread, similar to that, I said there's a need to communicate. So yeah, it's coming out again for the masculine. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And for you, passion is back. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So stop trying to like withhold love basically i hope that you enjoy your reading and you find it helpful namaste angel